In this video, I'll show you how to fix an error occurred when you're trying to play and launch Roblox. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And now let's get right into this guide. So here we are on my computer. Now the first thing I recommend doing is just going and restarting your computer. Often this will just go and fix the issue or restart everything. So to do that, all you need to do is go and hit the start button on your taskbar just like so, and then go and tap on the power button. And then you can go and tap on restart and a lot of the times that is gonna go and sort the issue out. A second fix is you need to go and open up your terminal and CMD. So all you want to do is go and tap on the search button in your taskbar and go and type in CMD, just like so, and here is command prompt. You want to right click on it and click run as administrator. You'll then go and get a security pop-up because we ran it as an administrator. And then what you need to type in is IP config, all one word, just like so, and then slash flush, DNS, just like so, hit enter, and then as you can see, it successfully flushed the DNS. This is just sort of resetting some things with your internet. It's definitely worth doing this. It can sometimes solve the problem. If it still doesn't, and another fix is actually to go and reinstall Roblox. So to do that, all you need to do is go and open your settings. So go and click on the Windows Start button, or you can go and search for settings. Um, so click search for settings if you can't see it, but mine settings is here. Then what you need to do is come to the left-hand side and go and tap on apps, and from apps, go and tap on apps and features, and then here we are, and this is gonna be your app list. And then what you need to do is type in Roblox, so type in Roblox just like so, and then here is the Roblox player. So all you want to do is click on the three dots on the right hand side and go and tap uninstall, then go and tap uninstall again, and now the uninstall process will start, as you can see here it is. So all you need to do is just wait, it shouldn't take too long at all, and then I'll show you how to go and reinstall it as well. As you can see, it's now been uninstalled, so we can go and press OK, and we can come and close off of our settings. And what you need to do is go and open up your browser, and here we are, you need to go to roblox.com, and then you just need to go and launch any game, it doesn't matter. Um, I'll just go and launch Please Donate for this example, so I'll go and click Play. As you can see, it says Roblox is loading and you'll need a new app to open this Roblox player link, but just wait, it's gonna detect this. As you can see, we've now got this option here for download and install Roblox. And then it's gonna go and drop the launcher just in the bottom left. Now, every browser is slightly different, but you can always go and find your downloads in your file explorer, um, but in Google Chrome, they, um, your downloads appear in the bottom left. Then as you can see, it's now installing Roblox. It doesn't take long at all. And then just wait and it's gonna go and say Roblox is successfully installed. And then we can go and try launching it again. Then it will say Roblox is successfully installed. Press okay and then we can go and press join and Roblox will now launch and we'll go and see if it's working. In this case, it's working for me, but if you're still having the problem, then all we're gonna go and do is go back to your desktop just like so and go and find the Roblox player. So go and find the shortcut just here. And then what you want to do is click on it once, then right click on it. And then we're gonna get a list of options and you need to go and tap on properties. And from properties, I'll go and zoom in on this. What you need to do is go and tap on compatibility. And what you should do is just run the troubleshooter for this. So click run compatibility troubleshooter. It's gonna go and detect any problems it may be having. And as you can see, it's gonna go and give us try the recommended settings. You can then go and test the program, go and press next. Um, and yeah, you can just go and test it basically and go and see if that solves the problem. As you can see, it's got some settings applied. Then you can go and test it and see if it, if those settings applied have actually made an impact. And if they have, go and keep them. If they haven't, go and change them back. And hopefully that's gonna go and fix your problem. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.